subscribe. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Allison Jones. I am a second grade teacher in Treasure Coast, Florida. Um, we are back in my classroom for part two of classroom setup. So here's a quick overview of what we accomplished yesterday. And then I'll tell you what the plan for today is. All right, so starting from the door, um, we left this kidney table here. I'm going to move that kidney table over here underneath the bulletin boards, which as you can see, I cleared off. This table is going to go back there next to that one. Um, I did my groupings. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna do that group of five or this group of five. But then I have two groups of six since I have 21 students. This teacher table here is going to be moved into the teacher corner there. Um, yeah, I'll probably do small groups in that back area so I can free up those cubbies. All right, and that's pretty much where we left it. Our library is over there. Book bag hooks. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys down and start getting to work.
I just finished having some lunch. Um, yes, so I started moving this bookshelf there and I'm thinking of putting it on the wall in this little space there. Um, I'm gonna probably have to move these over a little bit so I can fit that on that wall. Those two blue bookshelves, I'm thinking of putting next to each other there on that wall. I kind of cat cornered that kidney table. I'm gonna leave this one here. And then I have my little teacher area. I changed the group of six to having these two friends facing the board and having these face each other and those face each other. And I did the same thing over there. And then I'll probably go with this. I saw more B than I saw A. So I'll probably change that group of five to match this. I just met my team lead and she told me that I might go back down to 20 and then they'll probably take out the two spare desks because I have 22 right now and go back to four groups of five. If that is the case, I'll just put all five groups like this, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. Um, what else am I going to do? So this table here, I'm thinking of taking off the projector and the dock camera and putting it on this table. So when it faces there, when I use something for the documents, I have space to write. So I'm transferring from the cart to that table and then this long table here since apparently I can't get rid of furniture, I'm thinking of putting it by the door where the trash can is. And I'll move the trash can to the opposite side where the lid for my bin is. And I'll put that table here. And this can be where they, my friends put their lunch boxes. So that's how everything is coming along. I heard I don't have to get desktops. So I might just use this table as like workstations or I don't know yet. I'm still playing with that. But I have their book bins. I have a buttload of different colors that will go with my theme or you can't go wrong with black. Um, I just realized there's 18 hooks. I don't know. Um, but yes, friends, so our teacher tribe, this is what I have so far. Things are coming along. I probably am not going to get to start putting things on walls today, being that I'm still moving furniture. We'll see. It's still pretty early. It's just about to be one o'clock. It's two minutes to one. I want to try and be out of here by three. Maybe I'll start putting things on the wall. We'll see what happens. Tomorrow's Saturday. I have the ability to come in tomorrow. Probably won't, but we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna put you back down and I'll continue working.
Hey teacher tribe, I completely forgot to record while I was putting things on the wall. So please forgive me. But as you can see there, my bulletin boards are put up, my furniture is in place, and I started right there putting up, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, my wow work or the frog tastic. Well, I did frog tastic last year when I did frogs. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess I'll leave it as wow work. But that's where it's going to be. I started, but the stapler that I'm using is not all that, all the best for this type of wall. But it was amazing for the bulletin boards. So today I accomplished moving the furniture and I started putting things on the wall. So I'm going to flip it, give you a walkthrough, and we're going to call it the end of part two. All right, so starting from the door... Over here, I have my bulletin boards. The pink came out a little bit more straight than the yellow, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, there are the bulletin boards. Here is like my teacher corner. I honestly don't know if I'll be over here that much. So I might make this like the VIP desk. Um, here I intend to put my supplies. I have a bunch of containers with crayons, pencils, markers, all the good stuff. So I'm just going to like stack it up row by row. There's my teacher toolbox and some artwork that I'm going to put in this area. Um, I have one of my kidney tables. I'm going to put this table, I'm going to use this for them to put their lunch boxes right by the door. Didn't know what else to do with it. If you have any other ideas, comment below what you think I should do with this table. I figured I only have 18 hooks. So unless I lose three students, <laughs> um, I'll probably just have them put the backpacks on the back of their chairs. And then the shelving here, wait, let me see if I can, oop, right there, that shelving there, I'm gonna have them put their water bottles on top of. These two tables, I might not have them bring in desktops. I might just use this for centers. Yeah, I'll probably just use this for centers or just another space for them to charge their computers. Of course, my library, nothing happened over there. Um, I took out some posters, but that didn't get put up. Um, I moved this on the table like I told you I was going to. Um, there's my other kidney table. I'll probably use this for small groups. And then this one will probably be where I mainly sit when I'm sitting, but I'll still put some chairs over here. So I guess depending on what happens, since I have the two kidney tables, we'll figure out what I'm gonna do. The anchor chart, I need to just stick it somewhere. I really don't want it. I'll probably just throw it in the that storage room. I'm gonna use the built-in cubbies as their actual cubbies. I have little numbers put on hexagons that I'm going to put down here. Um, yeah, and then this is my small group area with those bookshelves. So yes, teacher tribe, here's my room. It is coming together very slowly. I'm just glad I, was, I had the opportunity to put it together as early as now or this week before all of the teachers report back next week because with all those meetings, who knows how long I'll actually have to put things together, so. But it's coming, it sure is. All right, teacher tribe, so I'm gonna wrap up part two of my classroom setup. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you in part two. Bye.